Alright guys, so I just got out of uh, my chemistry lecture class and on the way home I went and picked up some supplements and I'm going to show you guys what I bought. This is Iron Pump by Arnold and a friend actually recommended this to me so I'm going to give it a try and let you guys know how I, uh, what I think about it. Um, I don't usually go on pre-workouts but lately I've been like a little burnt out with, uh, with just my whole workout regimen and then I went and got some, uh, some BCAs like I mentioned it's from Optimum Nutrition and this is the last one is a fruit punch flavor and the iron pump is actually watermelon flavor um, I'm gonna let you guys know what I think about the um, pre-workout iron pump another thing that I picked up was uh, also whole wheat flour to make some protein pancakes and when I make it hopefully tonight um, I'm gonna show you guys uh, the whole process and what I think about it, it's my first time ever having protein pancakes. So, uh, wish me luck. I'm going to show you guys what I have so far. What I'm currently doing right now. Um, Alright, so over here we have, uh, we get a half a cup of whole wheat flour. And then one teaspoon of baking powder. With one egg, a uh, whole egg. With uh, three quarters of Greek yogurt. Alright guys, so we mixed both those bowls together in, um, in a mixing bowl and it should look like this. We're going to mix it and stir it until, the, until we form a batter and then I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of uh, vanilla extract and stir it and let it sit for 10 minutes. Alright, next we're going to scoop it up and I'm going to use a, <laughs> an ice cream scooper. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, put it in the frying pan and I didn't mention this earlier but you can also uh, add your protein powder as well but um, this is my first time making it so I'm not going to add it this time but next time I probably will and I'm going to show you guys what we got. and then also I used um, some Pam to help prevent it from sticking okay so this is what it looks like right now man this is going to be one pathetic looking <laughs> protein pancake but hey it's my first time so uh <laughs> don't laugh too hard alright guys so I just got done frying the pancake I don't think it's supposed to look like this it looks like a piece of bread <laughs> but I'm, just, I'm still gonna eat it though hopefully next time I make it it will look more like a pancake to be honest with you guys it doesn't really taste that bad it just looks like I'm eating a piece of bread or dough but uh... yeah this is what it looks like um... it doesn't look too appealing but hopefully the next pancakes I make will be flat and actually look like a pancake <laughs> and I'm actually going to the beach right now um... I haven't had a chance to go in a month so I'm gonna let you guys know what it looks like and what it's like to live near the beach and I'm actually going to introduce you to my dog Lucy which uh... My dad and I went to the Humane Society in Tampa to foster, and we're going to adopt it pretty soon. Well, her name, adopt her pretty soon, and her name's Lucy. And she, I just want to show you guys because she looks freaking adorable right now. Look at her. She's such a little lady. Look at that tail. Yeah, so I'm going to show you guys some footage of me going to the beach and the weather it's nice outside all right y'all so we're going up the bridge and I'm gonna show you this crazy view that uh we t well I take for granted every time I come to the beach and for you non Floridians I would definitely recommend coming here and visiting it's a big tourist attraction and Clearwater Beach is actually the number one beach at the moment in Florida So right here we got some a boat, palm trees. Look at that view. Alright guys, so we made it and this is the water beach for you. And I'm gonna show you guys what the water looks like and as you can see the beach houses. And yeah, it's a beautiful day. So uh man, show them that sky. It's a few clouds but still beautiful. I'm going to show you guys the water and in the background, I don't know if you can see that, there's the pier right about there. Show you guys. 
that's the Clearwater Beach Pier, Pier 60. It's not too bad. The water looks nice. So we just got done with the beach and I'm going to show you guys how happy my dog is when I come home from anywhere. Hi Lucy! Oh look at her tail, look at that. Alright guys, so we just got back to the bridge, well on the bridge actually, and uh, get some parachute sprints in. Um, as you can see it's still pretty dark out here. It's uh, about 6 o'clock. And you know the early bird gets the worm, so uh, I'm, actually, I'm actually going to be featuring my uh, my buddy Mike Stevenson's. So I'm going to let him introduce himself to you guys. What's up, YouTube? Mike Stevenson here today with Tony in the morning. Hopefully, we can get some good work in. Currently, I'm six foot 175. I have a goal to be about 195. And hopefully, training with Tony, I can get that goal. But I'm uh, here to enjoy some good work and hopefully get back into good shape. Great time with my boy Tony. Alright, I'm gonna show you guys the uh, the bridge if you haven't seen the first episode that I was doing it on. And uh, we got a couple warm up sprints in. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Yeah, it's pretty steep. The water looks nice. The sun's coming up. Here goes Tampa. Put in work. Alright guys, so we just got doing sprints, Mike and I, and uh, we're pretty dead. <laughs> but uh, man, I hope we can make it home safe because I'm pretty exhausted. Uh, we might need a DD on the way home for the ride home. But uh, it was a great workout. We, uh, we shot for, well, we did sprints for about an hour. Great workout, man. First time running since October. Felt great. But legs are a little sore, but you know, it's all worth it. I'm always up for a new challenge, and I'm looking forward to what's next, man. Just bring it on for me. I want to thank you guys again for tuning in with me, and I appreciate um, all of you who have subscribed. 